UFC middleweight championship of the world between the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, and Nick Diaz. So here he is, the number one middleweight contender getting set for this 185 pound title fight. He believes this title shot should have come a long time ago, but he has let bygones be bygones. The focus now, unseating the champion in dominant fashion and starting a new middleweight legacy of his own, 25 minutes or fewer away from becoming the new champion. We will see how he performs tonight. So here's the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world making the walk, looking to defend his title. It is certainly something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run roughshod through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge to date. All right, now our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Adesanya is 31. Diaz is 37. Adesanya is four inches taller. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 10 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, presenting the challenger, Nick D. Now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion, Israel, the last style bender. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it fight. Ready. So here we go with round one. The tension is palpable. On one side, you've got one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division taking on a true submission specialist. Yeah, he's taking on a true submission specialist. And when you talk about submission specialist, nobody matches up to this guy. He is that good at getting you to the ground and choking you up. Beautiful strike. 
All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jet. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though, he said. Liver kick. So a combination of kicks from him, and most of those found the target, DC. The kickboxing is on point tonight. He's so sharp, and he feels so good that he's throwing multiple kicks in a row. Takedown defense by Israel. And he landed the right hand there. Adesanya gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Just over three minutes to go. That shot blocked by Diaz. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Great shot. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. Blocks the shot. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Oh, beautiful connection on the feet. He's got it all working tonight, DC. He's in his zone. He's in a zone, and it's going to be very difficult for his opponent to keep up. Big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Cut to the head, instead it's blocked by Adesanya. Oh, it's open. Punch him with Single the collar tie now. Left hand punch from the clinch. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down to the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Nice punch there. Oh, nice elbow. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Just out of range with that right hook. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Oh, single collar tie here. Fifteen seconds. Oh, high level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Diaz. Look at the turtle in that kick. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy. It was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. The cardio, the push the pace and the pressure that he fought with, it's going to be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 15 minutes. 
Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. He lands flush with that right hand. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Big kick lands. He can't even, he can barely stand. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take look like it did stun him a little bit. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called to stop in this contest at one minute, 24 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. King of the 185 pounders, there he is, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion after the knockout tonight in his title defense. And that's gotta feel pretty good. There were a lot of people backing the number one contender coming in here tonight, but he certainly muted all of that noise and then some. The celebration is on in the corner. Congratulations to the reigning defending, still undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world.